Migrating operating systems can be an intimidating task. That's why Red Hat continues to develop the Convert to Rel utility. Hi there. My name is Eric, the IT Guy Hendricks from Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And in this tech tip, we're going to take a look at the Convert to Rel conversion analysis tool. What are some reasons to convert? The first is security. Red Hat has an entire team dedicated to making sure that Red Hat Enterprise Linux has timely updates for security vulnerabilities. We're also compliant with governments and security organizations the world over. RHEL has a 10-year life cycle, which may lead you to believe it's old and slow. Well, <laughs> this isn't your grandfather's Linux. With utilities like Podman containers and application streams powered by DNF, you choose which applications to install and at what rate you digest those updates. I mentioned a 10-year life cycle. That's five years of full support with new features and hardware enablement, followed by five years of maintenance support with access to vulnerability remediation and key bug fixes. Is that not long enough? That's why RHEL 7, which we'll see in the demo in a minute, has an add-on subscription for between one to four years of additional support with Extended Lifecycle Support Program, or ELS. In our previous video, we compared an in-place conversion to having to rebuild from scratch or a rip and replace. If you haven't yet, I highly encourage you to go take a look. We go deeper into the details of the conversion process and things you might watch out for. Whether you are running CentOS Linux 7 or one of the other downstream clones, you can keep your old build, run a conversion, and you'll end up with an identical system except that the old packages have now been replaced with their Red Hat signed equivalents. Once you reboot the converted system, it'll already be registered within the Red Hat ecosystem and ready for you to download updates, open a support case, and observe your systems with Red Hat Insights. Whether you're looking to convert one system or 10,000 systems, Convert to Rel can meet you where you are. Physical, virtual, cloud, edge, doesn't matter. You can run the conversion process on a system-by-system -system basis with a command line tool or use Red Hat Satellite or Red Hat Insights to do conversions at scale. This seem complicated? Are you getting a little nervous? Trust me, I hear you. That is why our engineering team built a pre-conversion analysis tool, either as a command line package or as part of the graphical interface for Red Hat Satellite or Insights. Let's take a look. What you are seeing is a vanilla CentOS Linux 7.9 virtual machine. Since installing this VM from scratch, I've updated all the packages, enabled the Apple repository, and rebooted. No more, no less. In order to run the convert to rel utility, we'll need to install the RHC Red Hat client tool. We'll use curl to pull down the repository configuration file and the RPM GPG key to our local client system. Then we'll use yum to install the needed packages to register our system with Red Hat services. We could enter our Red Hat customer portal username and password, but I'm going to assume you don't have just one server in your environment that needs to be converted. Instead, we can use an activation key and our organization ID to automate the registration process. Let's open up a browser window and navigate to console.redhat.com slash insights. This will drop us into our main dashboard. On the left-hand panel, let's expand inventory System Configuration, Activation Keys. The subtitle has our eight-digit organization ID. Copy that and keep it somewhere safe. We'll want it shortly. Click Create Activation Key. Give your key a meaningful name. In this case, I'm going to use Convert to Rel. Click Next. We have the option of specifying if this key is going to be for EUS, Extended Update Support Instances, or Latest Release. To keep this simple, let's click Next. We can also define a system purpose, which helps identify what SLAs and role the system will serve. We're going to activate a server. And since this is only a demo, let's pick self-support and dev slash test. That's it. Click create. And for this demonstration, go ahead and click close. Now let's jump back to the terminal and connect our CentOS Linux system to Red Hat. We'll call on the RHC command, input our org ID and activation key, now, like a password, don't share this with anyone outside of your administrative group. Our system will register with the subscription management service and upload an initial inventory to Red Hat Insights. I know, it's crazy. CentOS Linux systems being registered to a RHEL management tool? What will they think of next? 
As we are working with a CentOS Linux system, we don't get access to much functionality within Insights. Beyond a basic set of data points, the only real access our CentOS Linux system has is the pre-conversion analysis tool. To access this tool, we'll want to click on Automation Toolkit, Tasks, and select the pre-conversion analysis. Click Run Task. We can change the task name, and Insights is kind enough to remind us to create a backup of our system. But you already did that, right? <laughs> Select our newly registered system and click Execute. While we are only following one system, Red Hat Insights allows you to run multiple analyses and conversions concurrently. So whether you have dozens, hundreds, or thousands of systems, Red Hat Insights has you covered. Now, this will take a bit of time, as it is inspecting hundreds of data points across your system. Click on the View Progress dialog and go fill up your beverage. Well, not in the case of this demo. Let's add some post-editing magic and jump to our results. Uh-oh, we have an alert. In this case, it's even an inhibitor. If we try the conversion, it will fail. Let's click the dropdown to see what the issue is. Expand Outdated Packages. Now, in reading this error, it turns out that the Apple release package itself requires an update. Back in our local console, let's run yum update. Now we'll jump back into insights and run the pre-conversion analysis. As you can see, the results came back green. We are ready to convert. Now, there are a number of reasons that a conversion may be flagged with an alert. The Apple package was just used as an example. Behind the scenes, Red Hat Insights has gone ahead and installed the ConvertRail utility as part of the pre-conversion process. Pretty handy, huh? Now that we have a green light for the conversion, we can use the built-in Insights action for Convert to Rel from CentOS Linux 7. For this, we'll need to jump back to the task screen from before. Select our test system and click Run. We could watch the progress screen for updates, but let's go ahead, add that movie magic, and jump to the end result. Success. Now that our system has completed its conversion, it's ready for a reboot. Now that our system is back online, let's reconnect. Sign in with a known user, and let's take a look at the slash etsy slash red hat release file. And sure enough, we are running rel 7.9. I feel like the terminal should give us some sort of confetti art, or at least some sort of fanfare. Hey, yeah, something like that. As June 30th, 2024 approaches, we are getting closer to the end of life of CentOS Linux 7. However, we don't want you left out in the cold. Once you've converted to RHEL, you have a couple of options. First, you can perform an in-place upgrade from RHEL 7 to RHEL 8. I covered this process in another Tech Tip video, but it should feel pretty familiar once you've tried out the Convert to RHEL utility. However, if your workloads are dependent on an enterprise Linux 7 operating system, never fear. We are offering a low-cost subscription that includes a heavily discounted RHEL entitlement with up to four years of ELS support. This, of course, provides you access to the Convert to RHEL migration tool and our amazing team of support engineers from day one. Be sure to check out the link below to learn more about this amazing offering. Are you already running RHEL 8 and are looking to move to RHEL 9? We have you covered there, too. Take a look at how Leap can help you move to our next major version of Red Hat Enterprise Linux. And if you want to learn more about useful utilities and Linux practices, head on over to our YouTube channel. We have short tech tip videos just like this, as well as several live streams. You can catch me live every other Wednesday for Red Hat Enterprise Linux Presents. We take 60 minutes to interview guests from all over the industry. We talk about tools, products, or even a day in the life of a technologist. Our shows are packed with interesting conversations, live demos, and your questions answered live on air. If you want to get deeper into the weeds, you can catch us every Friday on Into the Terminal. We dive into topics from Linux basics to containers to security vulnerabilities. We don't spend a lot of time chatting. We dive headfirst, if you'll pardon the pun, into the terminal. Be sure to subscribe so you know whenever we publish new content. And be sure to like this video and leave your questions or future tech tip ideas in the comments below. On behalf of all of us on the Red Hat Enterprise Linux team, thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.